Hey guys, welcome to J-Hook Magic. I'm Jess. Thank you so much for coming and stumbling along my channel and wanting to check me out and hang out with me and yeah, do all this craziness. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome my yarny friends. I am so glad you are here. I hope you uh, stick around. I hope you like hanging out, having fun. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos have been posted. If it's not your first time here, welcome back my yarny friends. I am so excited you're here. Thank you, thank you so much for coming back. It, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all know I do. So, today is Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday. And this month, we... Uh, so, this is a collab that I'm doing with a bunch of other channels. And um, each month, we are going to pick a your inspiration pattern or a free pattern and uh, do that pattern for the month and do that throughout the year. Super cool. This month of January, we did the yarn inspiration pattern by Marley Bird Heartthrob Blanket, which is a C2C Grafgan blanket. I just finished. <laughs> I did not think I was going to make it, but I made the deadline. I am so excited. I am so happy. Hmm. Okay. I have done graph gans. I have done C to C's. I have done C to C graph hands. But this one, I, I don't know why. <laughs> but like, as you heard everybody else say, it was frustrating. It definitely went in timeout for a bit. It definitely did. Uh, There was a, I had a rip out. A lot of rows um just counting those little boxes <laughs> counting and recounting and then um I kind of did I had kind of had the same problem that um Jenna had from Jenna stitches where she counted the boxes she knew what she counted but she wrote the wrong number down yeah that kept happening to me <laughs> Or somehow I counted too many or too less and I don't know. Mistakes were made. I frogged it so many times and then after a while I said, well, I'm not going back and fixing. So there are mistakes in my blanket. It is what it is. It is done. I made it. It's the last Thursday of the month when our project should be done. And I'm just so excited I finished in time. Uh... Last week when I showed you, I was on row 57. Um, this was a lot of late nights, guys. <laughs> a lot of uh, staying up till like 1 a.m. Just going, going, going. As soon as I get home from work, just going. before. I put so much into this to get done on time. And I literally just completed it right now. And I'm like... All right, let's go make the video. <laughs> so let me, without further ado, let me show you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. And since I literally just finished, you know, I didn't weave my ends in yet. <laughs> I don't care. I'll show you. I'm not ashamed of my ends. <laughs> so that's the back. I have these ends I need to weave in. So I ain't ashamed. I'll show you. Uh, this is nice and warm. Um, I changed it up a little bit, the pattern. Uh, I did, I stayed with the half double crochet stitches, but instead of doing the single crochet to connect the boxes, I did uh, a slip stitch and I only chained up two. I 
chained up two and then did my three half doubles. And to make a new block, I only chained up five. So that's how it gave me the more tightly, oh, yeah, I messed up on the heart <laughs> and I just, yeah, I messed up and I said, I ain't going back. It is what it is. <laughs> so it's for me. It's going to be in my uh, family room. So I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah, so that's what I did because I started it off the way the pattern is with the chain six and with the single crochet. I don't know. I just didn't like the whole lacy look and the holiness of it. So I ripped it out and I switched it up. Um, I also switched up my colors. Um, the other people I'm collabing with, they, uh, I guess I should tell you who they are. <laughs> Um, we have Heather from Strings and Threads, Jenna from Jenna's Stitches, um, Darla from It's in the Bag Crochet with Darla, uh, Tiffany, CMM Designs, Erin from Crafting Kitty, uh, Brandy from Bee's Crafty Corner. She started this project with us and, um, do some, due to some, uh, Family circumstances she couldn't finish, but she is joining us for our February one, which I'm going to be showing you our February one soon. So I'm so happy that Brandy is joining us. And um, also we have uh, Linda from Lefty's Crochet Knit. She will be joining us in February's um, Things We're Making. So I'm so excited. If you have a channel and you would like to join, let us know so we can add you to the list so everyone can go and check out your beautiful work. If you don't have a channel, please email us your work so we can show off your masterpieces. Now, even if you just started this heartthrob blanket and or you didn't finish it, that's okay. Keep working on it and send us your progress pictures. I'll still show it. Doesn't matter what project we're on. You know, I'll show off your beautiful work, which I have. Two people that sent me um, some pictures. I have, uh, this is um, Carlotta, Carlota. I, I am so sorry. I hope I'm saying your name wrong. I mean, I hope I'm not saying your name wrong. Wow, that was embarrassing. <laughs> but she finished hers. Um uh, she did uh, the purples and the lettering in white and the heart is in pink. And I just think it is beautiful. Love it. I love that we're all like picking different colors or have, you know, some follow the pattern. I don't know. They're just all beautiful. Um, thank you, uh, Carla Carlota, Carlotta. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible with names. So. Uh, thank you so much for sending that in. And thank you so much for um, crocheting along with us this month. I hope you join in for February's. Uh, it's going to be fun. And this is Valerie. Valerie just started hers. And um, she's uh, doing double crochets instead of the half double crochets. And uh, she ran out of yarn. So she's got to make a trip to the store and... Get some more yarn so she could finish up. So, uh, it's, you know, looking beautiful. Please continue and please send us in a picture when you have finished so we could see your final, uh, product. Your masterpiece. Um, thank you guys so much for sending those in. I love seeing everyone's work. I love that you guys are, uh, doing, uh, doing this along with us. We love it. Um, I'm meeting so many, uh, cool yarny friends through this and I love it. I love making new friends, especially yarny friends. And, um, so next month's, uh, make of the, you know, things we're making for the month of February is, uh, it's a hoot owl container. It's like a basket. It's from Yarnspirations. Um, 
super cute. I didn't have a chance to print the pattern out yet, so I'm just gonna, this is the picture of what we're doing. Uh, basically, uh, we need four colors of yarn, and you're gonna use two skeins of yarn together to make the body of it so it's more sturdy, so it will stand up and hold, you know, whatever you wanna put in it. A uh, color for the eyes and a color for the beak. And this is gonna be so much fun and I'm so excited. I'm kind, I'm kind of glad that we're taking a little break from a blanket cause I'm doing two, you know, I did this blanket, I'm doing another collab with a blanket and I love blankets, but I'm kind of excited to do this. Um, my mom has made, I think like two or three of these and they're beautiful and I never got a chance to make one. So I'm so excited that I get to, to make my own now. And um not really sure what colors I'm going to be using. I did look through my stash and I do have that um that light tan color. I think it's like buff or bluff or something. I do have that. So I might just, I might not be a rebel. I might follow the rules this time. <laughs> I don't know. We will see. Um But I am so excited that I finished mine. Uh, I went, I uh, checked out everybody else's channel and saw theirs. Theirs came out beautiful. And um, uh, I know Darla's still chucking along. You go, girl. You you just keep taking your time and you do it. This was a frustrating pattern. We all got frustrated. We all put it in time out. So it is a fun pattern. It is nice. But like everyone says, it takes a lot of concentration and a lot of counting. So just know what you're getting into with that. But once you get going, it's it's really easy. You just fly right through. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to start this. Please go and check out um, the other channels to see what their blankets look like. Give them a like and a subscribe and a thumbs up and let them know how, you know, beautiful their work is. Um, please keep sending pictures in so we can see. I will have everything down in the description box, the channels, the heart, uh, a link to the heartthrob blanket in case you want to make it and a link to February's, the, uh, owl container. If you want to join along with us, which I hope you do. It's so much fun. Um, so that's all I have today. And, uh, I'll hook up with you guys later. Bye.